Peace. This is Watch for Watchmarks Media back at y'all for another round. And last night, one of the premier players in the whole NFL went down, and it was a it was such a bad sight to see, such a gruesome injury. And I'm talking about none other than the Cleveland Browns star running back Nick Chubb. Chubb got injured early in the game in the second quarter, and it's just one of those things, man, that uh, it, it's it's inevitable, man. Like, sports, some of your favorite people you love to watch are going to get hurt. And, and it's, it's terrible, especially, especially in football, you know. So, this leaves a question, who should the Cleveland Browns sign in order to stay relevant and in order to continue to pursue a Super Bowl. So I think that, you know, I've, I've heard quite a few names tossed around, but I think there's just one no-brainer, and that's none other than Kareem Hunt. you got to bring back Kareem Hunt because, number one, Hunt and Cleveland have good history, right? Back when Kareem Hunt was in a situation when he played for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chiefs let him go and that was just that was coming off like the Ray Rice stuff that just happened like a couple years prior to that so the Chiefs didn't want any bad press they let him go quick and it was tough for Kareem to get back on but one team took a chance and they said forget the bad press we're taking our chance with him. And that was none other than the Cleveland Browns. So Kareem Hunt has become was a Cleveland Brown, made an instant impact. And then they went and signed, or drafted rather, the star running back from Georgia that we know and love as Nick Chubb. So it kind of made the backfield a bit crowded and Kareem Hunt really wasn't too happy about the fact that he had to split that role and his his touches were definitely limited because of the emergence of Nick Chubb. So Hunt was very vocal about it. He said he wanted to trade. He wanted to get out of there. But um, I think if they parted ways amicably, or at least with a degree of respect, they can they can forge this thing back together, even if it's just for a one-year deal. Just like, just bring them back for one year, um, or even two years. If you don't want to rush Nick Chubb back, you bring him back for two years. And at this point, by bringing him back, you're giving Chubb all the time that he needs to recover. You don't have to rush him back. And two, Kareem Hunt also is familiar with the playbook. He's familiar with the coaching staff, the playbook. He has been on that team for years. So it's not somebody that you got to bring in. You got to bring him through, you know, bring him through up to speed a lot slower. No, this is a guy you could plug and play. Because he's been familiar with the system. He's been here for years. And it's, yeah, he's not Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is a, a whole different caliber of football player. But Kareem Hunt, prime Kareem Hunt, is right there with Nick Chubb. And he is no longer, you know, he's a lot, he's, well, in running back years, he's a lot older. He's 28 now, uh, Kareem Hunt. But still, the ground you're trying to make up by having, you know, by trying to replace Nick Chubb, you're going to make up a lot of that ground with Kareem Hunt. I mean, others will be like, but with Kareem Hunt, you're like right there, close to that Nick Chubb level of production. So I think it's a no-brainer. They should go get Kareem Hunt, and they have a very good shot to win 
the NFC North or at least fight for a wild card position in the AFC playoffs. And number three, I have Nick Chubb in fantasy and this is terrible, but I did draft Kareem Hunt as a stash. So please, I'm begging y'all, Kareem Hunt, Cleveland Browns, let bygones be bygones, man. Sweep this under the rug, water under the bridge. That's how true it is, I'm passing the bridge. Let's get back together, man. Reunion, please. Kareem Hunt on the Browns, let's go. But yo, on a serious note though, man, nothing but warm currents, positive thoughts, positive energy to Nick Chubb, one of the most dynamic players, man, an exciting player to watch. And man, all the best to him. He hurt the same injury with uh, the same knee, the same knee with a similar injury back in college. So this has got to be devastating, man. It's it's it hurt. It's it's it stinks for the sport of football, man. It's tough. It's a tough injury. But um, get well soon, and we'll see you soon. Hopefully, you know by next year you'll be ready to go. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.